I'm just traveling home from uh, Memorial uh, to a dear friend Tim Sashariba up in Michigan. Drove through some wild weather up there and then had clear travel to Nashville and and now I'm driving through another winter storm. So decided to stop and do this little video uh, for Friday. I'm wondering, have you done anything impossible lately? <laughs> People say, well, I can't do it if it's impossible, but that's exactly the great thing about being a Christian, that you can do the impossible. Not only that God can do the impossible, but the Lord said you can do it. Listen, these are his words in Matthew chapter 17 and verse 20. Um, Assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Now, of course, it's God's power. It's God's ability that does it. But Jesus links this to our responsibility. And I want to think with you about this whole issue. I think there are things in your life maybe in my life, that we need to look at in the coming year and say, I considered this impossible. But with God, all things are possible. My father was a pilot uh, during the Second World War, and he was stationed in Burma. He was on a Lancaster, uh, didn't actually drop bombs. He was uh, supply line, but... Uh, they say that a, a Lancaster air crew had a life expectancy of two weeks. It was a very dangerous place to be in. And uh, there were seven crew in a Lancaster. There was the pilot and the navigator and the flight engineer and the wireless operator, the mid-gunner and the rear gunner, which is really a dangerous spot, and then the bomb aimer. And... <clears throat> My father and uh, the navigator, Harry Sutton, uh, were both very serious believers, and no one else on the crew was, and they really kind of poo-pooed the notion of God. And uh, they were a fairly new crew. My dad and Harry had been looking for an opportunity to share the gospel with them, and so far, nothing. Well, <clears throat> just before the monsoons came in, and this is, of course, is the rainy season, much like hurricane weather in the United States, southern U.S., uh, the monsoons uh, last for several months and can do a lot of damage. And for a, a, one of these old planes to fly through a monsoon was a very dangerous thing. They have tremendous updraft and downdrafts, and especially when you're flying in fairly uncharted territory with uh, high mountains and deep valleys, it's not a good idea. Well, just before the monsoons rolled in, my father was called on to take his crew and fly up to an isolated little airstrip uh, where they needed to get some special supplies. And so they wanted to hurry up, get in there, and get out before the monsoons hit, because otherwise they'd be three months on the ground up in that uh, isolated spot. So they did. They got up there, and then they had some engine trouble, and it delayed them. And by the time they were ready to roll, here they saw this black cloud of monsoons rolling up the valley. And my father said, listen, I'm not staying here for the monsoon season. So let everybody let's go. And some of the crew thought, you're crazy, man, flying into the monsoons. And uh, so right on the runway, Harry and my father prayed. And they asked God to open up a way through this monsoon wall of clouds. And they took off. And uh, the crew was really quite frantic. But as they flew towards the monsoons, it seemed all of a sudden this hole opened up in the clouds and they flew right through into blue sky. And Harry Sutton flipped open the intercom, and I suppose it wasn't quite kosher, but he, he began to sing a song. And it goes like this. Got any rivers you think are uncrossable? Got any mountains you can't tunnel through? God specializes in things thought impossible. 
He can do just what no other can do. That should be our theme song for the coming year. Got any rivers you think are uncrossable? Got any mountains you can't tunnel through? God specializes in things thought impossible. He can do just what no other can do. Is there some barrier between you and your life's partner? Something that you can't forgive? It's impossible. Well, God specializes in things thought impossible. Nothing will be impossible for you if you have faith in God. Maybe it's forgiving your father. Maybe it's sharing the gospel with an old enemy from the old days before you were saved. And you have to go back and apologize for the way you behaved and, and tell them that the Lord has changed you and forgiven you. I don't know what it is with you, but we all have these mountains in our way. And God says, mountains, mountains. <laughs> if, if you have the faith to believe, this, this barrier, this impediment in your Christian life, it, it's a goner. It'll go right into the sea. You'll never see it again. God specializes in things thought impossible. He can do just what no other can do.